guys. It is a pleasant spring day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this fine, uh, I think it's Tuesday morning, I'm already losing track. That would be April 20th, 420. 21, 420-21, we are barreling across South Georgia today as I head back north from the Sunshine State to New York, baby, and uh, we're taking in the back roads of my home state of Georgia. Just seeing that's these giant uh, irrigation machines. I think that's probably a peanut farm. Uh, those giant irrigation things. And I don't know whether they're sucking the aquifer dry around here or not. It seems to be pecans and peanuts here in South Georgia. But anyway, I was absolutely amazed and uh, <laughs> I won't exactly say excited to find an an NPR station here in South Georgia. I do not believe that NPR has penetrated South Georgia, but I was listening to, uh, you know, this little lefty greeny AOC. AOC yakking on about the Green New Deal and then about how and then they put on some redneck Republican talking about how the Green New Deal uh, was going to do nothing to solve climate change. And of course, I found myself agreeing with the redneck uh, Republican senator, whatever his name is, uh, over AOC. So anyway, I just thought it was time. I've just noticed from a lot of comments and whatnot, uh, as long as I'm driving through South Georgia, just going to do a little uh, explanatory video, and I guess this is going to be uh, explaining the difference between climate change deniers, little lefty greeny apocalyptimists, and doomers. And then when we get to Doomers, we're going to look at the climate alarmist Doomer versus the more uh, balanced Doomer, shall we say. So obviously, guys, starting out with the climate change deniers, who is, you know, like that uh, idiot, I didn't catch his name, they were just interviewing from the Republican Party. Now these climate change deniers, they, you know, they're, they're just so clueless. They are pretty much, you know, just below my contempt. They are irredeemably stupid uh, sitting here just denying uh, that anything is different on this planet, that the climate is just like it's always been, you know, right about the time they are setting the the hurricane season back from June 1st to May 15th or setting it forward as the case may be. So anyway, these uh, these climate change deniers, I don't need to tell you who they are. Uh, just, I, I don't want to insult your intelligence or mine. So when you hear these climate change deniers talking about how the Green New Deal is not going to save the planet from climate change, they are right. The Green New Deal is not going to, to uh, save the planet from climate change, but they're right for all the wrong reasons. They think the Green New Deal is not going to save the planet from climate change because there is no such thing as climate change. So enough uh, about climate change deniers. So, okay, now we're going to get 
to the little greeny lefties, predominantly lefties. There are a few, probably even Republicans, signing on to the Green New Deal. Now, in some ways, the Green New Dealers, these, uh, the, these clueless, deluded, little apocalyptimist, hopium-soaked, uh, optimists are, are in some ways to me more infuriating than the climate change deniers themselves because you know at least the green new dealers understand that climate change is real okay they, they get it they understand uh, that we are screwed but if you don't know the definition of an apocaloptimist, an apocaloptimist is someone who understands that we are screwed, but they believe everything is going to turn out just fine anyway. And one of the main reasons they are deluded fools clueless morons, even more embarrassing in some ways than the climate change deniers, is they believe for one second that the Green New Deal and the Paris Climate Accord and the United Nations and the World Bank and Joe Biden and AOC and uh, all, all those folks that the uh, you know, defending the New Green Deal, uh, that the New Green Deal is, is going to do a damn thing to save the planet from climate change. Uh, so this is why I agree with these Republican uh, idiot uh, climate change deniers is that it will do nothing but, you know, I agree with them for the right reasons. And well, I should say the correct reasons in this case, I guess. And uh, the correct reason is that the Green New Deal will do nothing to make an iota of difference in, uh, in the fight against climate change. Uh, is A, climate change is real. But climate change, uh, you know, is Godzilla, and the Green New Deal is a slingshot. It is, all it is, is this greenwashing. It is this corporate, uh, this global corporatocracy greenwashing, uh, convincing uh, these little, predominantly little lefties that just tweaking the system you know, that getting rid of fossil fuels and replacing fossil fuels with whatever little uh, trick they pull out of their hat, their little uh, hocus pocus, is going to do a damn thing to address climate change. This is an absolutely absurd notion. Uh, it might buy us a few extra years, you know, to keep the unsustainable juggernaut of global industrial civilization chugging along. They, the Green New Dealers have absolutely zero interest in collapsing global industrial civilization. They want global industrial civilization to go on about its business. They just want to power it a different way. And so, uh, in this case, you know, as I've said, if if climate change did not exist, I mean, if it was not a problem, or if they do everything in their book and it actually did fix climate change, the other aspects of global industrial civilization would still take down the planet. That fixing climate change is not going, uh, you know, the climate change impacts of global industrial civilization is not going to, quote, fix global industrial civilization. 
which is the problem. Global industrial civilization needs to come down. Uh, but of course, that's going to get into a whole nother rant about the deep green uh, myth that uh, collapsing global industrial civilization is going to uh, save the planet. But uh, it would be a step in the right direction. Uh, but we're not going to get off on that. So the uh, as the deep greeners will tell you the Green New Deal is a big pack of bright green lies. Everything out of AOC's mouth. Uh, Joe Biden, uh, the, you know, just the usual gang. It is a pack of lies. I don't know if the people, some of the people spouting these lies are not doing it with a bad heart. They are clueless morons. Uh, I don't know about uh, AOC. Uh, I, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt that she is just a clueless moron instead of uh, a bold-faced liar, but whether they're lying to you or just dreaming, uh, it's a joke. Okay, so those are the little greenies, the apocaloptimistic, hopium-soaked greenies uh, who understand that climate change is real and uh, is going to bite us in our collective ass, but think that they're going to get out of it uh, by their, their little tweaking and, uh, of the system. And then, of course, that brings us to doomers which of course for those of us who understand that climate change is real, uh, that we are screwed, and that there's not a damn thing any of us are going to do about it on an individual level or any other level. Uh, it is here, it is here to stay. And then as I said a minute ago, when the even if, uh, even if we could fix climate change, we, we're still doomed, which I guess is where the difference between the climate change alarmist doomer uh, is one of these, these doomers who get it about climate change. Okay, they understand that uh, climate change is real and, and it's going to screw us. Uh, but what they fail to understand, even the doomers, is that climate change is, is one of nine planetary boundaries. And what they probably don't understand is if climate change were nowhere on the menu of, uh, you know, in the horse race to collapse, uh, that things that we could pull ourselves out of it, that the only thing we have to fix is climate change, paying no attention to all of the other horses in the horse race. So uh, I get a little irritated uh, with the climate alarmist. They're almost there. The climate alarmists are almost there. And then you have the more balanced doomer, which would be me and I guess Book Hermit. Uh, well, the difference between me and Book Hermit is, I, you know, Book Hermit thinks uh, all, all the uh, other aspects of global industrial civilization, uh, they, they don't need climate change. Uh, and, and I think climate change is just a dark horse. But uh, it is, I think, Book Herman agrees with me that the habitat destruction, at this point, it is habitat destruction. Uh, such as that peanut field going in, I guess. It is habitat destruction. It, it is destroying the homes of our fellow earthlings are going to take down uh, this planet uh, before climate change is direct. Uh, it is direct 
hunting and poaching of, of our fellow earthlings. It is pollution. And then, of course, all those uh, sucking the water table dry. All of those are, are going to take down the planet. And then, of course, when you add in things like, you know, little things out of left field like nuclear war, uh, all of these wars that are going to uh, break out, you put that in the mix, that uh, global industrial civilization is uh, probably going to come down by various other routes uh, than climate change, but uh, climate change is going to play a bigger and bigger role as we go through the 21st century. And so my bottom line is, while I agree with Book Hermit that uh, we're not going to have to worry about climate change taking down global industrial civilization and the planet, that there's plenty of other ways that are a lot more likely than climate change, uh, I do believe uh, that climate change, you know, with no help from the other eight horses in the horse race towards collapse, uh, will end up batting a mop up, I guess you would say, will be mopping up whatever the other, uh, whatever uh, horse shit the other ones leave, leave behind. Uh, and just so we need to make sure, for what it's worth, that I am in the last group. Uh, I am the, uh, the full-scale doomer. Uh, the full-scale doomer. Put me in that group, please. But anyway, we're coming into... Where are we coming into? We are coming into Montezuma, Georgia, and I have to uh, figure out where I'm going. So uh, get out there and enjoy Montezuma before Montezuma gets his revenge. Catch you down the road. Come see me in New York, baby. Bye, guys.